I found it. <laughs> what are you doing, Rebel? Who's on a picture hook? That's me! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Hello everybody! Meet Zorro. He's a bummer lamb at my parents' house. And we're at my parents' house because in order to till the garden, um, we need to get my dad's tractor, which has tons of attachments to it, but we want the tiller and we're also gonna dig some post holes, so we're gonna get the auger. But as you can see, my parents have a menagerie of animals. These are my sister's 4-H pigs. And these are the feeder pigs that my brother gets to claim as his until they get butchered. <laughs> Jess doesn't want to raise pigs at our house, so it's very generous of my parents to raise a pig for us every year for the freezer. This is the auger. It was behind this hot wire, and I am not a fan of hot wires or electric fences. Managed to do it without shocking the crud out of myself. Well, Dave and Kathy are only about 20 miles away. It's awful nice to be able to run over there, grab the truck, trailer, and the tractor with whatever attachments we might need to bring home and get some real big things done. And we've got a few. Well, Grace came along to help gather up all these attachments and get things swapped over. But this time of year, her folks' place can be really distracting with all the general cuteness. Well, Grace's little brother Jacob has some special needs. He showed up with a blue belly lizard about the time I was hooking up the trailer to the truck. And, well, I got this track. Oops. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Gracie's garden. We didn't get to garden at all last year. Had some family stuff come up. Um, you can kind of see things got away from us a bit. My wife cleaned everything off it. But it's time to till. been gardening here about 17 years. We picked this particular spot on the place on account of these trees behind us. That's south. We get our heavy wind out of the west. We've actually got an east wind today and it's really annoying but oh it's good dirt. We've got good water. Uh, one day this long shed right here that this long walls to the south I'd really like to put a greenhouse full length right here for Gracie. Get a head start on our growing season. The raspberries are flat taken over. Sunday after church, we had some friends over. They wanted raspberry bushes, so you can kind of see here where they've dug a bunch up and took them home which is great, that's less for us to have to deal with, but let's see if I can show you here. We're losing a lot of ground to these raspberries. We'd like them to stay close to the fence and obviously I can't tell them with them sticking up all over like this real long. I'm going to go grab the riding mower and see if I can make a dent in it. We'll see how that goes. After I do that, 
before I till, this whole garden area here was covered in, oh, in the beginning it was probably about a foot of straw to keep the moisture in. It broke down a fair bit over the three years or so it was there. So last year, I scraped it all off and I threw it in a pile right here. Everything brown you see is actually compost. So before I till this in, I'm gonna put the compost on the garden and till it in real good and then we'll lay out our irrigation and get to planting because it's time. So I'm not real sure how this mower is gonna do mowing down all these raspberries here, but I tried it out a little over there. If it works good enough, I'll be happy. Sure save a lot of time over a weed eater or the pruners. know about your dogs but our dogs love carrots and just just emptied out the one of our raised beds from last year and it had some carrots in it and the dogs found it rebels what you got what you got stick look what's that Yeah, you're gonna see in the video just tilling the garden and we haven't tilled the garden in like four years um, Four years ago, we brought in straw mulch and um, So we haven't tilled since then but and it worked great There was a few drawbacks, but it worked really good and it was a lot, lot less weeding than it had been in the previous years last year we thought we were moving <laughs> and we had worked really hard to get the the soil that we had in the garden and so we actually scraped the top of the garden off with your excavator well Dennis is yeah right right with an excavator and <laughs> um hauled it all off and took it to the house that we thought we were moving to and then we didn't move <laughs> yeah so we left that soil there. My sister and brother-in-law moved into that house. So we left that soil there for them because they want to start a garden too. But now it kind of feels like we're starting from scratch in our garden. So we are we did have a compost pile, which you'll see Jess taking dirt from the compost pile and putting it in the garden before we till it. So we'll have some good stuff. It'll be good. I kind of sad about my mulch and I'm trying to figure out what kind of mulch I want to use now. And it's a beautiful day and uh, the girls are even skipping out on a little schoolwork today to work outside so. You gotta take advantage. That's right. Okay, hey, here she comes. Here I come. Here you come, Rainy. Yeah. What is beat. that? Ooh, it's what last is year's, it? It's last year's beat. It's a beat. Ew, I'm not touching that thing. <laughs> He's 
these are old rubber excavator tracks. And we just brought them back in the garden so we can fill them with dirt and use them as raised beds. But we are super excited about getting things going in the garden and there's some exciting things going on in the house. Is that the move? Yeah. Is that the move? What's in the ring? There's a bird. A bird? A duckling? A oh, look at that one's moving now. Yes, moving. Move them. What do you hear? Ducklings. You hear ducklings? Yes, good big week. Yeah. <laughs> I hear them. That's all pretty cool. Yes. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next chapter. God bless and have a great day.